Yes, the truth of the matter is this. Hope Uzodima, the governor called Hope Uzodima, meet Nigeria Air Force and he told them that he wants all the bad eggs in Imo State flush out. That is what he said. He said he wants all the bad eggs in Imo State to be flushed out with immediate effect. That means they are planning for another operation, tighter than in the southeastern part of Nigeria. Everybody need to be at alert right now. Everybody need to be careful. That is the plan of Hope Zodima. He wants all the bad eggs to be flushed out. And he cried about the seat at home order from the IPOP. And he said, since the, the, the arrest, that is, he will say arrest, I will say kidnap, Mazna the Kanu, that the agitation in southeastern part of Nigeria is getting out of hand. Now he has gone to meet with the Nigeria Air Force, telling them to come to his aid in the southeast part of Nigeria, that he wants more men. This happened yesterday after the meeting head. He wrote it and he said he will not discuss the outcome of the meeting, but the subheading is that IPOP that had disturbed the community, he has called on the Air Force of Nigeria to flush all the bad eggs out of Imo State out of South Eastern part of Nigeria. We need to be careful. Now, what happened to the Funani henchmen and what happened to the Buku people they are trying to grant amnesty? Please, this video is an interesting one. Make sure you watch it to the end and I will be right back. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome again to our channel. Thank you very much for your love and support to me on this particular channel. I am so grateful. If today is the first time you are seeing my face, I am a Gata Progress channel here on YouTube, and I come across your way every blessed day. In this channel, we react to all videos, and in this channel as well, our opinion is highly needed. So please just grab your share, carry your popcorn, and let's dive into why we are here today. Oh my word. Today, I'm so super, super, super angry. Why I'm sandy this way is this. I saw a post, you know, the other time, Nigeria government said, if uh, you are a Boku or you are Kina, if you surrender your weapon, especially those in the northern part of Nigeria, that they are able and willing to listen to you. Anything you want, they will give it to you. Provided you did not go back to that your former life. That no matter how the Boku have deleted people, they don't care about that. All what they care about is your freedom and your sincerity. I say for real. And just of recent, another minister to Muhammad Buhari came out and said, they are trying their best to make sure they see to the need of these particular people. That as a nation, their own is to protect their citizen. That as a nation, their own is to give their citizen the benefit of freedom. That as a nation, their own is to give their citizen to provide for them whatsoever they need. And that they care for the bandit and for the boku more than any other person. He said, because these people, they need help. These people, they need attention. These people, they need, they need us at every, they need them at every time, not me, not us. They need them at every time to provide for them. So therefore, if they will be able to come at and say, oh, I won't do this anymore. I won't be a criminal anymore. I won't do that anymore. That they are able as a nation to provide for them. And I say for real. And they made the example and said, though they have deleted a lot of people from the surface of the earth, he said it does not mean that they don't have right to live. He said though they have caused a lot of atrocity, it does not mean that they don't have right to live. Now, if it's only the Boku, the bandits, what they are doing in the northern part of Nigeria, they are the only ones that are fit to life. What are we doing in the southeast part of Nigeria? I don't really know if the governors, they don't see all these things going on. 
Why are they so blind? Now I come to think of it. And they make another example and said, if the person is ready to surrender, they will follow up the process to make sure the person did not go back to that particular life again. They are ready to give the person anything they want. Then why are they dancing or pressure pattern dance to the southeast? Why are they going to the southeast to go and delete innocent people? Why are they not going to the southeast to go and down innocent people that do not even have AK-47 to carry? Why are they not going to the southeast to make sure anybody that said I need my right, this is what I want, they delete the person? Why is it that they are going to the southeast that anybody that said this thing they are doing is not right, they delete the person? If really they so much cares about you. They only care for the funani henchmen. They only care for the notanas. They never cares about you. So don't be deceived. Don't really think that what they are saying is for you. It's not for you. Why did they move all the way from Nigeria? Look for money. Spend millions, billions of naira to kidnap the leader of Bia from Mazina the Khan. Why? And why is it that those people that came in solidarity to Mazina the Kanu when uh, during his court time that they did not bring him, why did they arrest those people? If really what they are saying, they are so correct. If somebody see the kind of news coming out from Nigerian media and coming out from Nigerian government, they will say these people, they so much care for their citizen. Them is all lie. It's fake. This care they are talking about is only for the funeral enhancement. This care they are talking about is only for those that can carry AK-47 in the Funani Dime. This freedom they are talking about is for those that put Muhammad Buhari right in that particular seat that he is sitting. The ones that are representing him. These are the people that this thing is sweet for. It's not for you. The one Nigeria is not for you. The Nigeria you are calling and you are claiming is not for you. If really the Nigeria is for everybody, as they have said, as a nation, then why is it that what they are doing in the South East is so different? And when they talk, you say they should not talk. When they cough, you say they should not cough. When they run, you say they should not run. When they sit or stand, they said no. What do you want them to do? When they are seeing the handwriting on the wall, so clear and so bold, you still lied? Look at it. The other day now, Castina governor came out and said, granting amnesty to those people is wrong. He said because he has done that years ago. And when he tried to grant amnesty to them, he said he never knew that they would go back. He said what he did is the bad, in fact, the wrong thing so far that he has done. But Nigerian government will tell you that they didn't see anything wrong about it. They will say they don't see anything wrong about it. So, look at the leader of Biafra Mazina the Khan. What did he do? Is he among the bandits or is he among the boku? Is there just their suffering? What are you saying? Come on, think about these things. Mazina Dikano is right in order they are cost of the suffering. And they are granting amnesty to those people that are supposed to be there. It's so, it, it's, it's so painful. That up to this very particular, up to this very moment, some people still believe in this one Nigeria. Up to this very moment, some people never see anything wrong in what the Nigerian government has been doing. Up to this particular moment, some people never see that what goes up is not coming down in Nigeria. We can't be say we are proud to be a Nigeria. The country has not helped us in any way. People that can be so bold to say, Nigeria has helped me. Oh, long live Nigeria. Nigeria is my land. Nigeria is my country. Shake them. They are people that are benefiting from it. Not people that are not getting a dime. Not people that are suffering. People that are going to farm every morning tonight. You are telling them that the economy help you. Who knows about economy in Nigeria? Who has the economy help? What have they done to rescue you or to help you? Nigeria is for you, Mr. One Nigeria. They are doing all this for the bandit. They are doing all this for the full and enhancement. But look at the leader of Biafra, Mazina Adikan. What did he do to deserve this? What did he do now to deserve this 
in treatments, what did you do? If they are freeing those people, they give them and they say they want to list it to them, then why won't you people also list it to Mazina the Kano? You people need to listen to him. You people need to listen to the BR France. You people need to listen to their cry. You people need to listen to their call. But no. If it would have been Funani that came at now, whole stick or AK 47, everybody will start to run. They will start to beg them. But if it's for Southeast, oh my word. I don't really know how they will just call them on phone and said, You people should come over. Come over. Come over, come and come and delete all of them, idiot people. Now election is coming. Shine your eye. Don't let anybody fool you. If they did not sit down in your house, what they will do to you, they will do it to you. Believe me, when you sit down in your house, that injury, you will not get it. Let them go and let them count what they are counting and let them be the governor for themselves and their family, not for you. The thing is getting out of hand. If they are granting these people amnesty, if they are, if they are, if they are, if they are taking good care of these people, what did you do to deserve this bad act they are treating you? Nothing. So, my wonderful family, I'm just here to tell you that the one Nigeria does not belong to you. Don't be deceived. Nigeria is not for you. Let them release the leader of Biafra from Mazina the Khan. It's not too hard to ask. They just have to release him and let him go. They just have, this is evidence that they need to release him and let him go. He has freedom of speech, he has freedom to life, he has freedom of association. That is what I have brought for so that you that is not thinking twice, you need to think twice before it's too late. So, my wonderful family, I believe that this little words of mine has in one way or the other imparted something in you for you to believe that what they are planning in Nigeria is not for you. If they are granted these people freedom, imagine you that is watching me right now. Did you have freedom? Are you free? What is it that you are doing in Nigeria that you are free of? Are you free to talk? Are you free to dance? Are you free to eat? Do you have what you, you ought to ask? The money that you're supposed to spend on you, they'll be spent for those people that kidnap. They've been spent for Boku. They've, they've, they've been spent for uh, Funa Movement. What have they done for you? How has Nigeria affected you positively? Tell me. Just sit down and ask yourself. Just reflect yourself back and say, this is what Nigeria has done for me that I'm so proud of. Is there anything? Please, my wonderful family, I am yet to let you know that Nigeria is not for you. The amnesty they are granted is not for you. What about the ones in the rivers that they said uh, this uh, is your militant, Abi, what are they called? The data state militant that only when they see money, they rest. When the money finishes, they will start to back like dog. Once they call them, now give their little money. You see that they rest. Once the money finish, they come out and they start to back. How much did they give to them? Did they even see the money? Why are they crying every day? But the ones in the northern part of Nigeria, you see what they give it to them. I'm going to shine your eye, not because. Mm. All right, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this wonderful update. I said, let me just come and drop this brief one here for my friends, my family, and my well wishers so that we all will reason together. And don't forget, drop your opinion in the comment section. And if you have been seeing this face for the first time and you are surprised, you don't know who am I. I am Agatha Progress channel here on YouTube and I come across your way every blessed day. In this channel, we react to our videos and in this channel as well, our opinion is highly needed. And if you haven't joined this family, oh my word, what are you waiting for? Please click on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. Bye for now.